everyone and welcome to Ace Drama House Reaction. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos or reactions. And I have a super special announcement. If you're up at midnight tonight, come check out our channel because there is a video that is going to be going up that is very special. I mean, it's mainly for Cassie, but it's... It's one of the proudest video, like, it's one of the videos I'm most proud of that I've ever made on this channel, so go check it out. But for today, let's get to today's General Hospital reaction. So, thank goodness that Jordan Phil Nathan in on this whole Elm Street Dante fluke thing with Bill Eckert's grave, because literally, literally then they'd all be out of luck if she didn't. Like, Jordan inadvertently, like, saved the day. And, uh, Fluke got really awkward with his speech on the Haunted Star, <laughs> like, for a while. There, people were like, um, okay. And speaking of Fluke, uh, Dante is still in that basement with the bomb and the fake Luke corpse. And, uh, Dante calls Lulu, but Fluke picks up and tells Dante about the bomb on the Haunted Star. And he told Dante, basically, like, you know, Lulu's gonna blow up. So, like, nothing's gonna stop Dante from saving Lulu. Not even, like, I don't know, a bomb or dying. Like, nothing's gonna stop him from saving Lulu. And, uh, then Fluke, like, freaks out on the phone and makes it sound like Dante's, like, yelling at him and being all jealous over Johnny Zakara. And, like... There's literally, Dante would never say anything to Luke Spencer that would elicit that reaction. And he wouldn't speak that way to Luke Spencer anyway. So, the whole thing was, like, really obnoxious. And, um, then Dante, he sees the bomb. He realizes he has less than a minute left. And he starts apologizing for not being able to be there for Rocco. And it's just, the whole thing's really sad and emotional. But then... We hear a sound upstairs, and it's Nathan, and Nathan comes down the stairs and grabs Dante, and do they make it out of the basement? We'll have to see tomorrow. Hopefully they do, because, um, I don't know what I would do if those two men died in an explosion on the show. I just don't. <laughs> um, speaking of an explosion... Helena tells Nicholas why she's not letting him get on the boat, and he freaks out because, obviously, like, his family's on that boat and his date, and, like, they're all gonna blow up, and he, he winds up getting, like, knocked out, like, her, her men have to knock him out in order for him not to get on the boat. <sighs> um, Sam and Jason slash Jake, ugh, I just want the reveal already, um, so, just a little tidbit, even Jason said that the phoenix wasn't worthless, but Patrick keeps calling it a knick-knack. Just saying. Um, and Jake tells Sam that he's not in control of his crimes, and of course, like, she doesn't believe him, because, like, who would? <laughs> I mean, the whole thing sounds ridiculous, but, Sam, you live in a soap opera, so... And uh, Jake has a flashback when he grabs Sam's arm when she's about to leave. So, like, do the reveal already. Or at least tell her what you saw. And maybe she'll put stuff together. Like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Um, speaking of, uh, I don't even know. The Pettenville Four, as I call them. So, it was Johnny and Carlos that ran them off the road. Uh, there's a sexy shootout that happens. I'm sorry. That's the best way I can describe it is a sexy shootout. Um, uh, Franco tried to, like, reminisce with Carlos that they're, like, prison buddies, and Carlos actually allows Franco to leave because he has no qualms with him, and he stays with his gun on Ava, so Franco just totally deserts Ava and just saying Ava, like, totally deserves that, <laughs> I mean, seriously. And Sonny is helping a wounded Julian in one of the sweetest moments in today's episode. Like, you wouldn't, I don't know, like, if you go back to, like, their first few interactions on the show, or even their interactions a few months ago, you would think that Sonny would just let Julian bleed out, because really, he, Julian's, been useful as he's going to be to Sonny, which is why I think the Alliance is going to stay put, even out of Pettenville. And Ava is trying to talk her way out of Carlos shooting her, but honestly, I don't see how she's going to get out of this one. There needs to be serious third party. Oh, hi, E-Cat. There needs to be some serious third-party interference for Ava to survive this. Speaking of third-party interference, Heather attacks Nina and threatens to inject her with LSD and then gives us, like, a history lesson on Diana Taylor and LSD and how she drank her own LSD cocktail. And just as she's about to, like, I don't know, kill her or tell her the whole big story, Franco barges in with a gun out, guns blazing, to save Nina. 
And that is it for today. Um, I enjoyed today's uh, episode. I don't know about you. And I, let's see. I told you about the Monday, or, so that's technically my Monday video, even though it's going up at midnight. Uh, we did a lot of cool videos last week, so definitely go check those out. I will see you, t oh, and I'm putting up a vlog my life. It's getting uploaded today. Um, I will see you tomorrow for more Drama Hospital. I hope you have a great day. Bye!